Hello everyone. In this video, we are making a smart robot card that moves with just your hand gesture. Let's see what components are required to make this car. We required two SP32 development boards, some jumper wires, male to male and male to female, two half breadboard, one gyro sensor, one L298N motor driver, four bio wheel, four DC motor. 4 code wheel, 2 lithium ion battery, 1 battery holder, 2 chassis base. First, take your chassis, the plastic base where everything will be fixed. Insert a screw in fastener and BU motor and use a screw to mount up the motor with base of chassis. Do same for all other three BU motors. Now take four coder wheel and push fit one on the inner side of each motor. Now take four wheel and push fit one on the other side of each motor. Now we will connect both VCC red wires of motors on the same side of chassis and connect both ground black wires to each other. Now we will do same thing for other side of chassis. Connect the red wires of right side of motors to out one and black wires to out two. Similar for left side we will connect red wires to out four and black wires to out three. Tied the connection. Now stick double sided tape on the back of L298 motor driver. Paste it at the center of the chassis. Connect white wire to EMA. Similarly, yellow wire to IN1 pin. Green wire to IN2. Orange wire to IN3. Brown wire to IN4. And grey wire to EMB. Tie up the temper wire. Now take your battery holder and stick it on the chassis using double sided tape. Make sure it is placed firmly so it doesn't move when the car runs. Now take a jumper wire and connect it to the high bolt power pin on the motor driver. This wire will later be used to supply to the B in pin of PSP32. Use a screwdriver to tie the connection. Now take the ground wire from the battery and the black jumper wire. This jumper wire will serve as the ground connection for ESP32. Connect both of them to the ground pin on the motor driver. Use a screwdriver to tie the connection. Now connect the red wire of the battery holder to L29810 12 volt pin. Use a screwdriver to tie the connection. Now we will add the top chassis base and fix it with the help of some screw. Now we will take a half breadboard and stick it on the top chassis. Then insert the ESP32 into the breadboard. Connect 5 volts of motor driver to V in of ESP32. And ground. Now we will give data connection. Connect the yellow wire which is 
I N N or motor driver module. Similarly, connect I N two to T twelve, I N three to D fourteen, I N four to D twenty seven. E N E to D twenty six and E N B to D twenty five. Now all control and power wires are connected to E S P thirty two. Now we will make the transmitter. Take another half plate board and insert the second E S P thirty two into it. Place the gyroscope sensor next to the E S P thirty two on the plate board. Now give connection to gyroscope sensor. Connect VCC to 3.3 volt, ground to ground, SCL to D22 and SDA to D21. This sensor will feel your hand movement and send signals to the car without any wire. Now we will power the ESP32 of the hand controller using a 9 volt battery. Now pull up ESP and insert red wire to the V in pin of ESP32 and black wire to the ground pin of ESP32 and test to fix again. Connect the ESP32 of the car to your laptop using a micro USB cable. Now upload the code. Open the serial monitor. The MAC address will be appear. Copy the MAC address. Open Notepad and paste the MAC address there. Replace with colon, comma, zero x and save. Open receiver code. Now upload the receiver code to ESP32. Now connect ESP32 transmitter to your laptop. Copy MAC address and paste. Now upload the transmitter code. Now our gesture control car is ready to go. Thanks for watching.